Hello everyone. We will continue the topic hierarchical ALB list display. We fetched the data from the header and item table, or simple word if I will say, from BBAK and BBAP table. Now we will manually generate a field catalog. Means five columns of first table and three columns from second table. So I will manually generate the field catalog of eight columns. We'll see. In the previous videos, we already learned that we have a table type for the field catalog. And this is the predefined table type. Now, if you want to see, you can simply go to SC37. You can pass your function module, reuse ALV field catalog merge, because many times people are asking from where we will find this table type. You can simply pass this function module reuse ALV field catalog merge, go to changing tab and this is the field catalog. This is the table type which SAP gave, standard table type which is using to generate a field catalog. So I will simply create declare one internal table in the program which will refer to this table type. I will go to the program. This is the program. I will declare the field catalog internal table. Internal table type table type. I will declare a work area. Work area type, I will see this table type is using this structure. So I will declare a work area of type this structure. We already put so much stress in the previous videos. How to take these structures. Now manually we will generate a field catalog. So for the best understanding, I will open this structure separately and we will use the properties one by one. This is the structure. Structure has nested structure, again nested structure, and we will use the properties. I will manually create a field catalog. LS underscore field cat. Firstly, I will give the column position. I will use column position. Suppose one. LS underscore field cat. Now, I will give the field name. So this is the component which I will use field name. What is my first component? BBELN. LS field cat hyphen. Now I will pass the name of the internal table. Tab name. My first, my first internal table is LT underscore VBAK. Because VBELN, we are taking from VBAK field cat hyphen. Now we will give the label also. So I will only give the long label. So I will use this property. 
and I will give the label suppose sales document number. I will append my work area to internal table. And I will clear the work area. We should always clear the work area after every append statement. Now I will go for second column. Now my second column is ER dat column position two. And ER that is creation date. I will go for third column now. ER now. ER said it is sorry. It is your time. Third column. Now we will go for fourth column. ER num. ER num is user. Now we will go for fifth column. Fifth column is VB type. And it is your category. So I took all the five columns of VBH. Now it's a turn for VBAP now. So from VBAP, we require three columns. Now this is the important part start here now. You are displaying in the form of hierarchy, header item, header item, header item. So you are all five columns of the header is done. Now it's a turn from item. So column position one for the item and internal table is VBAP now. Now it's a turn for the second column of item. And this is the mistake which people are doing. This is your second column of item and it is postnar. And postnar is your item number. Now we have the third column of the item. That is your Matena. Internal table VBAP. Third. And this is our material number. We are not combining the data of header and item. We are not displaying in a single row. We are displaying in terms of hierarchy, hierarchy. So we have to clearly specify that these first five columns belongs to VBAK. These three columns belongs to VBAP. We created a field catalog of eight columns. That is true. But we have to clearly specify that first five belongs to VBAK and rest three are belongs to VBAP. We gave a separate internal table name. Once we will use the function module, topic will make a hundred percent clearance to you. You will understand more and more better. In the next video, we will just bind our data with the field catalog. We will bind our data with the field catalog using our hierarchical display function. That's it in this video. Thank you.